caught my wife red-handed cheating on me in the car at a parking lot. I am 57, my wife is 48. We have been married for 14 years. I have been lurking on and off on this forum, and I never thought this would happen to me. For the past few years, since my wife got promoted and she started making more money, I have noticed that she has been kind of distance. But lately once the COVID shutdown happened, we like everyone else were forced to all be home in quarantine. Sometime in April, I saw a drastic change in my wife like a flick of a switch. She told me she could not handle the shutdown and felt completely trapped. I think it also forced us to take a closer look at our marriage and problems. In the beginning of our marriage, we were very compatible, have similar interests and agree on most things. There have always been problems in our marriage, but it was easy to avoid them with the distraction of our work. The issues caused me to shut down from time to time. It eventually led to us sleeping in separate bedrooms, yet we still had sex from time to time, and she is still a good mother to our three children under the age of 13. I know we are not unique with having the grind of working and raising a family and the stresses that come along with it. Before COVID happened, we would fight about our problems. It was almost like she is more irritated than usually. She would make everything a big fight. She suggested we need marriage counseling and I agreed because I wanted things to go back the way it used to be. Like when we got married and I was willing to do whatever it takes to fix it, since we were still on lockdown, it wasn't easy to find a marriage counselor, so I asked her if we could talk things out while trying to find a marriage counselor. She would go into rage and rant about how bad of a husband I am and give me every detail of how bad I was over the entirety of our marriage. I told her I loved her and owned up to my part of making her feel neglected and wanting to work on making things better. She insists that I don't care about her and want space and the counseling to let things work out. I was upfront with her and asked her if she still wants to stay in this marriage, and she assures me that she doesn't want divorce or separation and wants to resolve things with a counselor. By June, I just could not take it anymore. I was in the dark about why these extreme things were happening. I was torn apart inside with feelings of my marriage and family imploding. My kids, although young, have a good sense of our problems, and I can see how it is making them depressed. I felt I had to go with my gut that there was something else going on, so I did my own detective work. My gut tells me that there was a more serious problem than our already broken marriage. I noticed that she never leaves the room without her cell phone. When we are watching TV, she always seems to be on her phone. She will position her phone in such a way that I can't see her screen. She also sits on the couch in a paralyzed state not paying attention to me or the TV eagerly waiting for the next text. The phone never leaves her hand, and she is communicating with somebody night and day, and leaves the house to take a car ride saying she is bored. I have been on this site long enough to know that she is cheating, am only able to notice things since we are stuck in the house. It has exposed how blind I have been, I know something is wrong but I want to be sure so I order a voice-activated recorder on Amazon, it was shipped overnight. Since I know where she keeps her spare key to her car, I installed the voice-activated recorder in her car the following night while she sleeps. Two days later, I retrieved the voice-activated recorder from my wife's car and listened to it. I can only hear my wife speaking, though. She wasn't with anyone, but she was definitely talking on the phone with a guy. She was discussing thing about work, and also how she misses him, and how bored I am, and how she can't wait to be with the other man. According to what I heard, it appeared that they planned to meet at a hotel parking lot closer to my house, when she arrived at what I presumed is the meeting location she stopped and stepped out of her car, cause I could hear the car door close shut. After listening to this, I was ready to blow a gasket. Words cannot explain how angry I was. At first I wanted to confront her. I felt betrayed and humiliated. At that moment I knew my marriage was over, but I still need stronger evidence to remove any doubt on my mind. I have evidence that she is having an emotional affair, and by the conversation I can tell that they are already having a physical affair. I can tell by the conversation that it's somebody from work, but I don't know who, I haven't met anybody that she works with. She used to invite me to her work family gathering but, since she got a promotion two years ago, she stopped inviting me and I never asked why. If possible, I plan on catching her in the act, but unfortunately, she didn't step out of the house for another late night car ride for the next two weeks. Meanwhile, I am living in the house with somebody that clearly has no respect for our marriage. I had to sit quietly and act normal knowing fully well that the woman I have loved for 15 years is cheating on me. You might ask me, why don't I confront her? I know all I need to know. But I know my wife. She is the type that would deny, deny, deny. And it would turn into a huge fight, 
since I don't have any strong proof of physical affair, I will lose the opportunity of getting closure, and she would find a way to turn it around on me. She is very clever. I need evidence before confrontation. Furthermore, to add to the voice-activated recorder, I also installed a GPS tracker in her car. This GPS tracker came with a phone app, and it records her car location. With this GPS, I can track where her car is at all times through my phone. Two weeks later, I believe it was around mid-June, COVID restrictions were easing in my area. Me and my wife have started going back to work. One evening after we both came back from work, we had dinner. We were watching TV with the kids. She was on her phone as usual texting. Then she said she was going for a late night ride to clear her head. After she said that I felt a mixed emotion of anger and relief. I have been waiting for this moment for the past two weeks. I felt relieved because catching her red-handed has been on my mind for the past two weeks. I could think of nothing else. I couldn't even concentrate at work. I wasn't wondering how things went this bad in my marriage. Was there anything I could have done differently to prevent her from cheating? Was it because she is now making more money? I know from the stories that I have read on this site to never blame myself for her cheating, but I couldn't help it. So as soon as I heard her car leave the driveway, I turned off the TV and put the kids to bed. I hurried to get my phone, opened that app and I saw her car was at the same parking lot close to my house. I assumed that they booked a hotel room. So I planned on camping at the hotel lobby to catch them when they come out. How stupid could she be to chose her cheating location, so close to her home? Is this carelessness or have I been so blind that she disregard the fact that I will find out? Now that I think about it, who the hell goes for a ride in the middle of the night to clear their head? She must think I'm such a fool person, or maybe because we are going through a rough parch in our marriage and wanted to give a space, she took advantage of this. It's been about 20 minutes since she left. So I got in my car, since I already knew her location from the GPS, I drove to the hotel. When I arrived at the hotel, I only saw five cars on the parking lot. It is normally not a busy hotel, but it looked unusually quiet. I noticed that there were not light on the lobby, so I realized that the hotel is still shut down due to COVID. I parked at a distance from other cars and noticed my wife's car is parked at a secluded area of the parking lot. There is also an SUV parked next to her. My heart started beating when I realized that they both may be in either her car or his. My wife drive a sedan. I wasn't sure if they have noticed me because, by the way they parked, they could see any car coming into the parking lot from the highway. The parking lot was dark and quiet, and they were in a secluded area of the parking lot. I turn off my car and stared in their direction to see if I could make out whether they are still in the car. Since the hotel is closed, they must either be in his or her car. The more I stare, the more I realize that they are not in the car because the driver and passenger side of the car is empty. By now it has been almost 40 minutes since she left the house, and I know that she will be heading back home anytime soon because she knows that I will be worried about her being out for this long this late. The thought that went on my mind was, how could she leave the house and kids for some cheap sex in a motel parking lot with a stranger? I assume the stranger is her coworker. This is not the same woman I was married 15 years ago. I couldn't just drive to the secluded area where they parked, it was about 30 yards away. So I made a fateful decision to get out my car and walk toward their car, in such a way that I they wouldn't see me coming. The closer I got to their cars, the more I noticed a more rhythmic movement of the SUV. At this moment, all the emotion I had been holding back for the past week just got to me at once. I lost it and I ran toward the car. They were at the back of the SUV, the window glass is tinted so I couldn't see anything but I know they are there. I tried to open the door, but the door was locked. I taped on the screen trying to break it. Immediately I noticed both of their shadow as they jumped. Looks like they were having sex on the back seat. I noticed a man that I don't recognize got on the driver's seat and drove away before I could break the window. She was on the back seat with the tented window, so I couldn't see her clear, but without a doubt they were having sex on the back seat. I can't believe my wife of 15 years is being ducked on a cheap motel parking lot like a cheap by a stranger. He drove as fast as he could out of the parking lot, and I felt like I have failed in my mission to catch them pants down. I want to catch them naked, but at least she can't deny it. I caught her red-handed. Now she knows that she is A with a heavy heart. I walked back to my car and drove home. I couldn't sleep that night. She didn't come back till 5 a.m. in the morning. I was waiting for her in the living room. I didn't want to cause I seen because my kids are home and their school is shut down due to COVID. As soon as she walks in the door, I noticed she looked exhausted, her body language reeks with guilt and shame. Shame that she got caught ducking a stranger in a motel parking lot, she couldn't look me in the eyes.
The first words out of her mouth is I can explain everything. It's not what it looks like. I told her I knew she was meeting with him on several occasions. She said she knew the guy for about six months, but she wouldn't tell me who he was or that she works with him. She said they both had marriage problems and felt lonely so happy to help each other. She said they only had sex once, which was when I caught them. She became defensive saying that we have been having marriage problems and she has been feeling stressed. She said she didn't want to split. She wants to continue working on us but she needed to be left alone right now. She was defensive and mostly angered that I had listened to her conversation and followed her. She also said she will not stop seeing this person and feels the support from him is justified given how bad our marriage has been. I know most will read this and quickly say there is no hope for this marriage and maybe say that it is not my fault. I do feel like it is my fault for letting the marriage get to this point of there being an affair. The thought of breaking up my family and permanently damaging my kids is ripping me apart. Hoping to hear some unbiased feedback. Much appreciated. I do agree with the advice and will act on it. I need to step back for a couple of days and collect my thoughts before diving into this. She only admitted to the parking lot sex and continued to claim that it was the only time, which I know is a lie. My proof of phone discussion reveals that it's been going on for longer, and they have been having sex multiple times. I also live in a no-fault state for divorce, so we'll need to get the proper legal advice first so I don't get wiped out in the divorce. I really need to protect the assets I owned prior to marriage. I want to tell the other man's wife about everything, but I do not know how to contact her. I would need his info first to be able to get contact information. I appreciate all the feedback and I feel the same as everyone else that is sounding off. I want to tell my wife off about how bad of a person she really is. I want to contact the paramour's wife about the affair and blow up his family like what is happening to mine. I want to file for divorce immediately. I also want to protect myself, though like others have mentioned. To do this I need to strengthen myself like advised in the 180. I can't escalate things immediately as it will enable an expensive and lengthy divorce. I am trying to keep a level head so I don't get wiped out in divorce and get a bad custody deal. I have way too much to lose. I do realize now that this was not my fault and that my wayward spouse would have done this anyway. After 15 years I guess I did not know her as well as I thought I did. She has big issues, a loser, a liar and too weak to seek. Help before stepping out of the marriage for a quick fix. I believe Carmel will catch up to her. Has anyone tried this calmer, non-escalating approach and did it work? I am not asking about reconciliation. I am referring to taking the steps to divorce in a calm, organized and patient manner in the best interest for me and my kids. It may sound weak to some but I want to understand why the affair happened, hit closure and move on. I don't think blowing up the affair, going after the other person and his wife and shredding my wife will help me get past this. Maybe it would give me immediate satisfaction but not really help in the long run. At some point I will need to forgive my wife or the anger will eat away at me for the rest of my life. I have contacted several lawyers and understand from them what my best path forward to protect myself and assets. I also meet with a therapist weekly to help sort things out in my head. My approach to all of this stuff is for the best interest of me and my kids only. I do recognize all the knowledge on this forum coming from real-life stories of betrayal. Believe me, I am angry and hurting from this experience. I know others on this forum are hurt and angry from having similar experiences. My sense is that some will carry that anger and hurt with them forever and maybe for good reason. I don't expect it will ever lead me completely. I do want to heal from this, though, in the best way possible. It may sound weak to some, but I want to understand why the affair happened, hit closure and move on. I don't think blowing up the affair, going after the other person and his wife and shredding my wife will help me get past this. Maybe it would give me immediate satisfaction but not really help in the long run. At some point I will need to forgive my wife or the anger will eat away at me for the rest of my life. I have contacted several lawyers and understand from them what my best path forward will be to protect myself and assets. I also meet with a therapist weekly to help sort things out in my head. My approach to all of this stuff is for the best interest of me and my kids only.